So over here, you can see that I got some table of data. So what I want to do is use the paste before and paste after feature to copy up some data. Let's say, for example, I want to copy up the switch row right here. So this works for rows. So over here in the switch section, I'm just going to click and drag it until I select the entire row like this. Or I can go over here onto the side and click as this arrow appears to select that row. You can also select multiple rows for this. But for example, I'm just going to select the uh, select one row right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy out. So to copy out, I can press Ctrl C as my shortcut key or I can go to edit and click on copy as well. So both way works around fine. So now let's go around onto this area right here. So on the PlayStation area, so I copied switch. So on the PlayStation area, let's say I want to add in a duplicate version over here onto the top. So what I'm going to do now is go onto table and over here, now you have a feature called paste before and paste after. So if I were to go over here and click on paste before, what happens is that the switch gets placed above PlayStation just like this. So I'm just going to rename it to Switch Lite right over here, just like this. And that is how you can paste before. If you want to paste after, then you go around onto table again and click on paste after. So wherever the cursor is, it pastes the data below as you can see. So I'm just going to say Switch Black just like this. I can also select multiple data right there just like this, or I can select it from the corner right here just like this. And then what I can do is I can go around onto uh, copy and then go around over here and then go on to table, paste after, then all of the three columns get pasted just like that. And that is how you can use the paste before and paste after feature inside of in copy. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.